According to several expert reports, Lagos could become completely unlivable by the year 2100. Think about that. With a population of over 24 million, Africa's most populous city and the nerve center of Nigeria's economy could be completely submerged in the next 80 years. You might want to pause the purchase of that new Range Rover and consider saving up for a submarine instead. Every year during the rainy season, Lagosians are faced with terrible floods which get worse year after year costing the state an estimated $4 billion in losses and damages. Now, let's examine the issues. What are the causes of flooding in Lagos? The drainage system in Lagos is most times either poorly planned, badly executed, or entirely non-existent. It's not uncommon to see a stretch of road with zero gutters for water escape. And then, there's the waste. An estimated six to 10,000 tons of waste is generated every day in Lagos, and most of it ends in the gutters and drainage canals. These existing drainage canals and gutters swell with filth and sand sediments, meaning that when it rains, the water has nowhere to flow to. Couple that with the issue of sand mining for construction. This indiscriminate degradation of wetlands ultimately leads to, you guessed it, floods. Globally, the effects of climate change are being felt. The changes in weather patterns we're all witnessing are the effects of man's abuse of the environment. To make things worse, Lagos is a low-lying area consisting of several islands and peninsulas less than two meters above sea level, with water levels expected to rise by more than two meters before the turn of the century. The short summary is that we are surrounded by water and with rising global temperatures, melting ice caps, and consequently rising sea levels, we are at a high risk of water encroachment. We can only hope that the relevant authorities can swing into action to get ahead of this pending disaster and begin to look into ways to address these issues. It will require a huge environmental intervention and billions of dollars in investments to clean up our city, salvage our coastline, and save us from drowning. We are running out of time.